Hi, welcome to Luna Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a Chakra Wisdom reading, and I'm using the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards, if you are interested in those. Okay. Take a screenshot of that. Um, so we're going to do a reading with these Oracle cards. Um, this is very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Also keep in mind that everything is up to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect. Okay. This will be for January 2022 and or beyond. I just put a date on it for organizational purposes. So when you're meant to see it, when you're meant to see it. Yeah, let's see. Let's go. What do you have for the collective for, the, for healing their chakras? What do you have for the collective for healing their chakras? Or what is the wisdom that the chakras can teach us? Can teach the collective? Here we go. Destiny. So there's something about destiny that's playing out here. Okay, that it can't really be stopped, but it's playing out. What's blocking it? It's blocking out death's workaholic. Working, being very good at something that you do, but working too much at it. Becoming a workaholic, addicted to work, feeling like you have to do something in order to be valuable when you already have intrinsic value. What else is blocking this? Mysticism. So somebody here might work in the mystic arts, or somebody here might be a tarot reader, a psychic, a psychic medium. Um, hell, this, this might even be a personal reading. Um, almost personal. Um, my work in the mystic arts here. But what's blocking it is working too much. You gotta balance out the practicality and the spirituality. You gotta do your regular life stuff plus your spiritual stuff, right? And this is, it is, whatever it is you're working on, it is your destiny. But sometimes it's okay to take a break in your future. Okay, so be mindful of victim mentality here in the near future. Okay, maybe not so much a personal reading, but nevertheless, we all struggle with our stuff, right? So in the near future, you're going to feel like a victim or there's something that you need to work on about what seeds are you planting? Are you planting seeds of victim mentality or are you planting seeds of real growth? Okay, don't, don't martyr yourself. What else? Yeah, martyring. Guilt over um, not doing enough. Playing the martyr. Playing a saint. You can only do what you can. You don't need to save everybody. You can't save everyone. Yeah, insecurity is blocked off heart here. Okay, and when your heart is blocked off, your heart chakra is blocked off, it's becoming from a place of victim mentality and martyrdom, or codependency even, and insecurities. What's this insecurity about? Okay, dissipating. So the insecurities are dissipating here. Okay, but we got to alleviate this guilt over victim mentality or not being able to do for somebody who should be able to do for themselves basically what else yeah somebody here has a real deep insecurity although it is dissipating here um of rejection rejection of their art rejection of who they are so this is why maybe in the near future somebody isn't doing something because they have insecurities of fear of rejection here what's this fear yeah, but there's a renewal coming of true growth. As this dissipates this insecurity, as you heal your past, your victim mentality, your guilt or shame, your renewal grows, okay? You plant seeds and they actually grow. Instead of seeds of victim mentality, you're planting seeds of growth, of empowerment, self-empowerment, even in the mystic arts here, which is your destiny, okay? Let's at the bottom. Operation, attitude of gratitude, Okay. I like that. Operation, attitude of gratitude. So, yeah, definitely keep an attitude of gratitude of what you have been through, of what you are going through, and what you ha what you will be going through. Um, instead of it happening to you, it's happening for you. And regardless of whatever the situation is, no matter how hard it may be, remember, keep a place of gratitude in your heart and be feel feeling blessed that you have the opportunity to learn these lessons so that way you can bring in your blessings. What's behind that? Prayer. Um, offer prayer of gratitude up okay offer prayers of gratitude to relieve any confusion for you that brings in wisdom okay don't do it from a place of vanity do it from a place of gratitude um turning lemons into lemonade right be, be grateful for the options that you do have okay all right this is what i got operation attitude of gratitude is what i got for you guys from the with the chakra wisdom oracle cards I hope that this helps you and um, finds you doing well. 
And if you want to get a personal reading with me, the information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, I love you guys. Until next time, bye.